Let's get this there. Hi, welcome to Angela's Anything Show. And today I'm back with a little Corona quarantine update for you all. It's been a minute since I sat and chatted with you guys about coronavirus quarantine, like what we've been up to, what we're doing, and just had a little sit down uh, coffee talk with you. So here we are. So how are you guys doing with all the coronavirus stuff? How are your jobs? Like, are we all staying sane? What's happening? In New Hampshire, they're starting to lift some of the restrictions in this phased approach, which I get, but also at the same time, it's like, I can't help but think that we're lifting stuff way too early. And I know, I don't wanna super get into that stuff because I know we all feel differently or feel confused. Like, I just think everyone's confused. Where's the data? Where's the data? Okay? I'm not fucking going out to eat. Like, I don't wanna, <clears throat> I don't wanna go out to eat that badly where I have to go to a restaurant, like, wear a mask to eat, sit super far apart. Like, I don't care that much. I'll just make food at home. Like, it's really not that big of a deal. So, I don't know. I don't know where you guys are at with all that, but I don't wanna start any drama. This is an escape. So, let's talk more about me, shall we? <laughs> um, so speaking of face masks and coronavirus, first and foremost, I just need to show you guys what my friend Steph, who is a devout, I mean hopefully devout, uh, but a viewer, she's definitely a viewer of this channel. Uh, Steph, I just wanna say thank you again. These masks are so nice. Look at this shit. Okay, and I just need to do a little try on. So I'm assuming, you know, you can like tie, yeah, I think it goes this way, but I don't really think it matters. So then you do this. And then you do this. And then you tie it. I look so fucking cool in this thing, dude. And when I wear it, when I wear it, do you know who I feel like? What plays in my head? I'm a fire starter. Twisted fire starter. Mm -hmm. So thank you very much for sending this. And she also sent some cool stickers too. But I really appreciate it. And she made one for Dan too, because he is reaping all these rewards of my YouTube fame. Very like nice masculine fabric. So she is selling these. So I'll put her Instagram link below. And if you want to get some, hit her up. She's out on the West Coast. She seems really cool. And I think, I think one day we're going to smoke, smoke a joint together. And I'm excited. So what have I been up to in this quarantine? Because you guys know I don't have a job. And I've made a lot of realizations about myself, you know, uh, during this time. And I'm taking some notes. <laughs> so first, what have I been up to? What has been keeping me sane during coronavirus? Number one, yoga. The yoga studio that I normally go to have been doing live streaming since all this began. And I've been doing that. I haven't missed a week. I don't know. I do it like two to four times a week. The other thing that has been getting me through this quarantine is Fiona Apple's new album. Have any of you guys listened to it? Oh, you guys saw I've been doing a lot of TikToking, a lot of TikToking, and I've also really become addicted to Reddit, so really spending my time wisely. And also, Dan and I recently planted a little garden, mostly in pots, a little urban garden. Okay, guys. Here's a little garden tour for you. We have shallots, which are growing in nicely. And you can actually use these like scallions, I think. Um, potato, a little potato. Tomato. Uh, another shallot. Yeah, I need to cover that. Um, an herb garden, although I think I might have to move this because I don't know if it's going to end up having enough room, but the cilantro is doing really good. We just planted that. These are scallions that we like bought at the store and then put in water and then planted. And this is a poblano pepper. And then we also have a dog. Look at this. And then just for fun in the front of the house, I threw in two potatoes and some garlic over there. So we'll see what happens. And this is my masoner. My masonress. <laughs> A masonry expert. 
specialist. <laughs> and also, like any good basic bitch during coronavirus, I've been baking a lot of bread. Of course, I've always been baking bread. Like, I've done then baking bread way before all this, but I recently made a really good focaccia bread, and I have a clip from that here, too. I'll show you. This is what the bread looks like now at 10.17. I should probably put it in a bigger bowl, but fuck it. And you can even, like, taste it. Taste a piece. And it tastes really good. So other than that, I guess like, how am I overall? I'm fine. You know, I get nervous if I start to think about the future or where am I gonna work or what am I gonna do or blah, blah, blah. But, but besides that, just being in the present in my day to day, I'm fine. Like it, I get sad or it sucks when I think about how, you know, when am I gonna be able to go to a concert next or hang out with my friends next or, you know, you just think like, what if this doesn't ever come back or, you know, blah, blah, blah. But what I've really realized and what I think I already knew is that so much of that out there, literally I'm pointing to windows behind the camera, is distractions which are great, like we need distractions sometimes, but where I'm at in my life, the things that I wanna accomplish, YouTube, um, and like just being more creative, I don't need to be out there. All of that stuff was already a distraction, so, so like yes it sucks because there's certain things I just love to do and like going to a concert sparks my creativity, like hanging out with people I love sparks my creativity, but in general, like, I already had said to myself that this year I really needed to stay home more and just focus more on YouTube and doing the things that I want to do to better my life. So for me, I'm just like, keep putting your head down, plugging away, like, doing what you need to do because all of that stuff needs to be done at home anyway. Um, of course, with that said, there is a fine line between compartmentalizing trauma and just like and help dealing with it in a healthy way and my whole life I've flirted with that line because I could just compartmental I think I could murder a person honestly I think I could murder a person if the circumstances were right compartmentalize it and just like live with it and never tell anybody and be like eh, no one was there if a tree falls oh the other thing I wanted to say is that and this is what my note says oh my good god is that oh that didn't help at all that did not help at all. I have realized of, of, after not having a job now for like two months, I'm, you know the book series Animorphs? Do you guys remember Animorphs where it was like a lizard and it would morph into a person or vice versa? Or like at the end of a movie when some virus takes everybody over and then they kill the host and then everyone comes back to normal. It's like once I got laid off, I animorphed back into who I am, and that is a lazy, unemployed, stoner, creative ass bitch who really doesn't feel they need to work because I think I have something else to offer society. And so I'm just kind of living my best artist's life right now, and I cannot blame quarantine for the fact that I'm lazy. Like, no, I am, I'm a naturally lazy person, and I need something to motivate me. So that's something I've realized. Um, and it feels really good to get back to the roots of who I am. And then finally, um, you know, whether or not you agree with things reopening or whatever, which, I don't know, I don't really see myself going and doing stuff. Like, I don't really know if I feel comfortable. Like, I've had moments where I'm like, fuck it, I can just go hang out with that friend or I can just go do whatever, but I don't know. Like. This feels like the part in the movie where everybody is like, everything's fine, and you're watching the movie thinking, there's still 45 minutes left of the movie. Shit ain't fine. Like, there's something that needs to unfold still. I can't help but feel like we're at that part in the movie, and I'm not trying to catch that second wave, you know? I haven't gone this long making Dan wash my groceries to get coronavirus now, you know what I mean? So I really don't know how the summer's gonna play out. I think Dan and I are definitely gonna try to do, like, some hiking and camping, but we're probably gonna keep it just, I don't know, small, two of us. I really have no idea. What are you guys planning on doing? The weather's getting nicer, at least where I am. What are you thinking? Like, are you gonna just go with what your state says or are you feeling precautious? Like, I don't know. I'm just gonna stay home forever, I think. And she never left the house again. I guess I also just wanna say, it's depressing how we live in a society that has been built in such a way where 
we've created all these external fake distractions like money, work, jobs, this, that, which I know you need, but like we made it up. It's not real. And it's weird that we've created this reality that now we cannot not participate in because if we don't, everything crumbles. And it's just depressing. Dan and I went to Home Depot yesterday and it was like a curbside pickup thing. So you order it online, you sit in your car, you call them and they bring it out to you. So like, yeah, we're part of it too. We're part of the consumer machine too. I'm not denying that, but it's just depressing when I sat and I looked around and the parking lot was like full, you know? And I'm like, yeah. And then I'm like, why is everyone shopping? And I'm like, well, why am I shopping? And it's like, because they're buying shit for their house and for their lawns and for their gardens. And it's like, why? I don't know, because we've created this whole lie that you need to have all those things. And it's just, we've created all this fucking shit. And now without it, we can't survive. And I'm just like, ah. like there is no four, you know what I mean? or there's no spoon. I don't know, I just saw the Matrix class here for the first time, good shit. So anyway, um, okay, I'm actually done for real now. And let me know what you think. Let me know how you guys are doing. I'm thinking of you all. And more videos coming your way. So I'll see you next time. Goodbye. Dan, tell the people what you're doing. I'm sculpting. Like a Michelangelo. Actually, I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Homeowning. In a nutshell.